Hello, this is a tutorial about creating a breed for Creatures 1, covering both the basics of spriting as well as body data files. So I just wanted to provide an overview of this process because there are a lot of things involved with it. It's not just a simple process of clicking a button and voila, you've got a brand new breed. There's a lot of steps involved. Although it's not as daunting as it seems, so hopefully this will kind of give you an idea of how to actually edit the bitmaps that are involved, create the sprites, and also edit the body data files. So a lot of these concepts can also be applied to Creatures 2 and Creatures 3, although those games and creating breeds for those are slightly different. So this is mostly focusing on the Creatures 1 aspect. Just to start off with, I wanted to show the programs that I use with my technique, and I should just say that my technique is not the, it might not be the best one out there, it's just what I do. Um, it's, I'm mostly presenting it here just to kind of give everyone a feel for what creating a breed involves and hopefully get people interested in maybe taking on a project of this sort. So right now the main window that I have open is the One Stop Sprite Workshop and this opens up sprite files for Creatures 1 as well as Creatures 2, it can open those files as well. And what we have open right now are all of the bitmaps. Each one of these images that you see here are individual bitmaps that form a sprite file. And there are 26 of them. Uh, it starts off at number 0 and it ends with 25. That's for the head file. Um, sprite files are kind of unique in that it seems like you might just need a couple, but there, um, there's a separate sprite file for every body part for each gender, for each breed, for each body, or excuse me, for every life stage. So there are a lot of sprite files involved, a lot of bitmaps involved, and feel free to guess how many bitmaps are actually involved in one breed. It's a lot. <laughs> so what we're seeing right here is the white-haired pixie norn, his head, and it's a baby male that we see here. So that's just to kind of give you an idea. You can see all the different poses that are being used here. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on how these are used, but just to get a sense of what they look like. So this is the main program we're going to be using to import individual bitmaps to compile a sprite file. I'll also show you that we're going to be using a program called NornPose, and this gives you a preview of what a Norn breed will look like within the game. And the one we're going to be uh, working with is a Purple Mountain Norn. We'll see that in a little bit. So we'll come back to this a little bit later, but basically that's just to preview the sprites and in conjunction with a body data file. This is a body data file up here. It just looks like a big jumble of numbers <laughs> opened up in Notepad. You can use any basic text editing software. Notepad is just the easiest for me, but you might find something else. And the only program not mentioned here is a graphics program. I use Adobe Photoshop. There's many others out there. Uh, the only thing with those is the, they're typically not for free as these programs are. These can just be downloaded and I'll be providing the links in the description for this video. Um, the graphics program is just a little bit different though. Usually those are paid software. You might be able to find a free trial or a sale, but otherwise you're probably going to be paying money for that if you don't have one already. But hopefully you do. <laughs> so we won't be going into that part of the process because that's where a lot of the work happens. This is just kind of going through the process after you've edited those bitmaps. So we might be, I might have a follow-up tutorial on some, uh, some things that you can do within a graphics program, but for now we're just going to be using these. So those would be the programs that we'll be using for this tutorial. So the first step with creating a breed in Creatures 1 is actually getting your base bitmaps ready. You can either use these by starting from scratch, creating them in a graphics program, or copying them from an existing breed. So for instance, um, you might want to base it off of a white-haired pixie norn, for instance, right here. So what you can do is just click on each bitmap, um, hit Control c or you can go into Edit and say Copy excuse me, copy up there, <laughs> and paste that into your graphics program. Uh, one tip that I will say is that sometimes I found that uh, bringing these directly into a graphics program right from the One Stop Sprite Workshop results in a couple of odd pixels. You'll notice like a green, blue, and red one kind of somewhere on the image. If that does happen, 
uh, what I found that works is actually copying it from here, pasting it into the simple paint program, which usually comes with most computers, copying it from paint, and then pasting it into your graphics program like Adobe Photoshop. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's what's worked for me if I run into that issue. So that's just a tip in case that happens. So let's say that you've gone through the process of copying each of these over and making any changes within the graphics program to make an actual new breed. Uh, again, that's the really long process that we're not going to be looking at in this tutorial just because that's where a lot of things happen and that would probably make this tutorial really long. So again, this is just the basics. So once we've got all the, let's say the bitmaps are all set for the new breed, uh, what I would do is have another window of the One Stop Sprite Workshop open. I have, I leave open another one just to provide a base or a template so that I know what order they should be showing up in. Uh, because order is extremely important when it comes to compiling a sprite file. If you have, for instance, the backwards pose located up here, you're going to get a lot of weird poses that show up within the game and it's just not going to look right and you can go so far as to get norns that can't really move correctly and it's just a mess. <laughs> so you really want to make sure that you have a base open and make sure that the base you're using is correct. I have noticed that some of the original Creatures 1 sprites that came with the game, some of those do have some mixed up bitmaps in them. So using those as a base is just going to compound the issue and make your breed have some issues. You don't want that to happen. So again, just make sure that you're using the correct one. So. Well, as we work over here, we're going to go, click on the file menu and click on import from. And what we're looking for, as you can see, it's looking for bitmap files. I've already navigated to the directory where I have these and you'll notice I've got a ton. Um, these, this was for the project that I'm working on. And one of the important things about saving bitmaps that you're creating, label them correctly. It might seem like a pain in the neck as you're working through it, but it will save you so much time. You can see the these are all in order. They're labeled A000, and I have dash 0, dash 1, dash 2, etc., etc. So I just have to go in order. We're going to be working with the Purple Mountain Norn, which uses the A004 code. Uh, the codes, that's a whole other description. <laughs> and that's another discussion for another day. But basically, we're going to be starting with this. So I'll be importing A004-0. Again, remember these start at 0 when you import them. So we'll open that up. And there it is, and you'll notice that he is pointed in the right direction. So if I reference the base that we're using, you can see that they're looking in about the same direction. It's not like he's looking somewhere else and it's not working. So all we're going to do then is just continue importing from. What I do is I just, I know how they're labeled, so I would just go dash one. There's another one. And don't worry, we're not going through all these. I'm just, <laughs> just as an example to do the first line. And you'll see if we have go to three, we'll go to one more just so we can go on to the next line and you'll see how everything is lining up exactly how it is in the base. Which, the if, if for instance, if something happens and it doesn't look right, maybe you had an incorrect label, just make sure that it's going along correctly. And if you accidentally, for instance, if we accidentally say 14, yikes, definitely not the right one. We can see those don't line up at all. You can just click on this and say edit cut and it removes it right away and you can just continue moving along. So that's the process of importing them all. And once we get down and this entire, all the rows are all set and we get to number 25, which is actually number 26, because we started at zero. Hopefully that's not too confusing because it confuses me. <laughs> once you've got that, then save your sprite file as the exact name that it should be. So this would be a004.spr, which stands for sprite file. And that's it for that process.